Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I decided to make Mario 64 a completely unplayable experience for myself by allowing my Twitch chat to reset me basically every five minutes by gifting me five subs at a time. I've never played Mario 64 before, so I wanted to give it a try, but I have a crippling fear of people not being interested in watching my content and leaving and me dying on the streets with no money because everyone has left my Twitch stream if I play a game normally. So I needed to put a challenge in front of myself. I think it's very likely that God sits in heaven and cackles down on his creation as we put arbitrary challenges in front of ourselves to get some kind of sense of purpose and meaning because our lives have gotten too easy. There are no natural barriers in front of me. I have it all and I have to create them regardless. Anyway, here's me playing Mario 64. I went to Costco today, chat room. It was awesome. Oh. Spent fucking an insane amount of money, but I, I basically, I go to Costco. I, I, I'm starting to realize like I am a doomsday prepper without the in insane paranoia. Yeah. I like tr avoid going to the regular grocery store almost all the time because it's like slightly more expensive for me to buy food there. Like very, very marginally more expensive. So I just wait until I go to Costco. I buy like two months worth of non-perishable groceries and then eat those. I bought this like chicken, this like pre-made chicken that you keep in the fridge. It lasts until like June. And I'm like, dude, that's awesome. Like, if I don't eat that, if I fall into an episode where I just, I don't want to prep, like, a, a, something in a pot, like, I can just save that chicken for later, you know? Bought a bunch of fucking small snacks and stuff. I can just go upstairs and get, like, a date. And it's still the equivalent of, like, 10 DoorDash meals. <laughs> so I'm still winning. Drinking milk four months after buying it. Dude, milk does last kind of a surprisingly long time. Like, sometimes I'll get milk and, like, it'll be, like, uh, uh, like a month later and I'll be like, fuck, man, the milk went bad. And then I'll look at it, still has another month on the fucking container. I'm like, that's actually crazy. I can't believe that we have uh, reached a level of pasteurization and preservatives that, like, uh, this lasts for three months in my fridge. The uh, broke mindset beta might say that this is a bad thing because preservatives are ruining us and giving us cancerous uh, predispositions. I, the Giga Chad, uh, who enjoys the miracles of modern food technology, celebrate these things when my milk has not gone bad, even though I've forgotten about it, so that I've saved uh, the equivalent of two dollars. Benefit yourself and everyone, no more Northern Lion? What are you talking about? What do you mean, no more Northern Lion? I like, I like it out. Your speech pattern. <laughs> Dude, the fact that you watch Northern Lion and you can tell that I'm kind of picking up some of his mannerisms is so fucked up, man. I hate that. <laughs> Every year it benefits from just becoming an L. You're, you're right. It's You're 100% correct. I mean, I literally just told you guys the, the way that I'm setting up my YouTube channel is pretty much emulating his library of Letourneau videos uh, and, and Frost Prime as well, but, but like still. If you weren't here while I was on Scootish's stream chat room, I got a jury duty summons while I was live streaming, not kidding. It was not a summons, it was actually a questionnaire of like a pre-screening. They were like, uh, here are the acceptable exclusions. And it was like medical issues, like pregnancies, right? Like that kind of thing. And then the actual like online questionnaire that I had to take from the physical piece of mail that I got was like, hey, uh, have you been the victim or adjacent to a victim of a crime, uh, a violent crime uh, in your life that would maybe make you uh, a biased juror? And I was like, <laughs> I answered, yeah, man, my parents both got shot when I was a kid. <laughs> so I got a response at the end of the form that was like, you have an exception that we have deemed it as, as an acceptable uh, an acceptable reason to bring up to the court why you may not be, why you may not qualify. <laughs> you, you will hear back soon. And I was like, <laughs> I was like, sweet. I'm glad I'm getting something out of this, which is good. Insane way to drop lore. It, it's awesome. It's fucking sweet. I, I simply cannot be fucking unbiased, which like, I don't really necessarily care because like, I should be biased, I think, because I'm right. It's just, it's just fucking, it would just be annoying. Because then if I'm the only guy that's like, no, I don't think this guy should go to jail for 25 years, I don't want to have to fight that for like two weeks. <laughs> so awkward when you're the only one. <laughs> yeah, it's not because I believe in like the, uh, the abolition of the prison system or anything. It's actually because I, I like, I don't want it to be awkward. You know what I mean? Like. <laughs> It's so awkward, guys. Like, can you imagine I'm the only one who thinks who thinks Oof is guilty? Like, that's embarrassing. <laughs> and I have to justify that? Like, no thanks, man. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not with that. Bluey, have you had water today? Oh, God, am I gonna find out that Bluey's one of those people that doesn't drink water, like ever? She wants only drink Dr. Pepper for a very long time. How, okay, I will never understand. I've talked about this on stream before, and I'm not even being judgmental, like I'm not even being a hater. I, like genuinely, do not understand how people don't drink water. I do not understand it, I don't think I ever will. Like, I feel horrible if I don't drink water. Physically, like my skin starts to get dry and starts chafing, like my throat starts to hurt, my eyes get dry much quicker. Like, I genuinely do not understand how you guys don't drink water. Stop calling me out, I I'm not being a hater. I'm genuinely not being a hater. It's more of like, I do not know how you live. My best friend drinks exclusively Mountain Dew. Like, how do you actually survive? Like, I, again, not coming from a place of judgment, coming from a place of genuine wanting to understand. 
Like, I don't know, I, I genuinely don't know how you don't die. People who say they don't like the taste of water blowing my wig out. So I will say, like, water does have a taste because some water tastes disgusting. However, just generally not liking the taste of water, like, I think you're a deeply unserious person. Unless you have a, like, like a medical condition which genuinely justifies that, like, I think you are a deeply unserious person and you are simply being a stubborn child. You are not being, you are not being serious. But, like, hey, I, wa some water does have a taste. Like, like, you, you drink some Aquafina, that shit tastes like poison. Water does taste bad. You're just, Bluey, I, you need to get a fucking filter. See that? Very serious gesture. Rain Vixen, oh my god, thank you for the three gifted subs! Holy shit, dude! Thank you! Thank you, oh my god, I appreciate it so much! <laughs> Why is Mario fucking looking like- holy shit! There was a dude at my in-law's house on Easter, passed out on the couch, me, posed Mario. exactly like that. It was awesome. People were Hello. taking pictures of him because he looked like a Greek statue. Bro was kind of bogging everyone, I'm not gonna lie. Do I know you, Bluey? Or are you an online facade that you're hoping I trust? Fuck you, man, fuck you! Sorry. Sorry, that was a little, that was a little much. I'm sorry, man. I got a little fucking, sorry about that. My bad. Okay, serious question. Am I going to get off the first world? I'm genuinely, I'm genuinely good. I think I need to do like the, the lowest star run I possibly can to try and get time. You can't do all these days you're cooked. I've never speed run this game. I've never played it normally. Mario. Was that paper? Yes. I have a handful of paper and I'm just sucking that shit down. Yes. <laughs> Fucking popcorn. <laughs> sorry, Michael. That was a little bit. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm projecting for my anger of restarting the game. I apologize for that. Jack, can we talk about Costco? I love Costco, man. I'm fucking. I'm, man, that shit was awesome. Like, I, I look. I'm, I'm very like anti. Fucking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not a corporate guy. Whatever. But man, if I can like take one corporation and just be like, those, are, those guys are probably all right. It's Costco. I love, I love walking those aisles. I mean, Janelle and I like enjoy our little Costco dates. Such a deep level. Not so much shit today. I got this like, like curry chicken that's like pre-made. That I, I mean, I make chicken all the time but it's like nice to have one in the, just in, the, in the fridge that i can just like heat up we get these chicken nuggets that like taste just like a restaurant like uh bowl in the swing and i toss them in like hot sauce in, in a bowl after i air fry them it's pretty good like it is expensive like the gross that you pay at costco is ridiculous janelle and i paid almost 400 dollars today for our groceries but the thing is those groceries are going to literally last us i'm not even kidding probably three months which is just like ridiculous like i'm I, I'm, I'm being genuine i except for the often ingredient here and there like i i do not think that we're gonna have to do like a legit grocery shop for the next three months which is insane do you have a sinus infection crop why are you saying that taz i taz i had a sinus infection a couple weeks ago and i took antibiotics for a week and a half i still feel kind of sick and uh, you clocked it and i'm kind of pissed at you for that a good morning, everyone. Welcome to the Crump Television stream. I'm playing Super Mario 64. I'm doing a 16 star run. Blah, 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 blah. No, I'm not. I'm not fucking doing that shit. That shit's boring. I don't know if I'm going to get another star past the first level. I genuinely don't know if I'm going to get another star past Baba blah, blah, Battlefield. Like, I, I, I do not know if it's going to happen. It might not. <laughs> I was doing Rando Ocarina of Time because I'm a nerd. Oh, dude. I need to see. That's the thing. I didn't have Nintendo consoles growing up until until the... Well, I had the SNES and then I had the Wii. We never bought anything in the SNES, though. So I only had, like, the same classic Mario games plus uh, Donkey Kong Country, which were great games. But I never had a 64, never had a GameCube. So I missed out a lot of that fucking era, that golden age. Never had a GameCube. I'm still sad about it. Dude, yeah, there's so many good games on the GameCube. I got one recently because I was like, I, I you know, I, I want to play these old games that I missed out on. But I was a PS2 kid, which I love. I love my PS2. There's some great games on PS2 that I really thrive playing, such as the Ratatouille movie game. But at the same time, uh, you know, I think that the Ratatouille movie game might have paled in comparison to, like, uh, Sunshine. You know, I think those might have not been the the same. I think there might have not been a similar level of quality there. I think it might have been a little bit different, you know? I think my first console I remember playing was an Atari 2600. You had the fucking OG. I had an SNES, but it's because I grew up with my grandparents. <laughs> so, like, I had a little bit of a, a, little bit of a skewed... Uh, yeah. <clears throat> I had a little bit of a skewed um, first console. My first real console that was like mine was the PS1. PS1 was like uh, my shit. I love that shit. The PS1 started as a CD expansion for the SNES. Yes, I know they had that agreement and then like Sony pulled out. Yeah, 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 yeah. The proudest things that I have, like the things that I'm the proudest of, they're like, they're like, they're also some of the most valuable things that I have in terms of like actual profit value. But like I have a copy of Soul Silver and uh, Heart Gold in their big boxes, like their big cardboard boxes. And for some reason as a kid, I just decided, I was like, I'm gonna take really good care of that. I'm not, you know, I'm a, I'm a child. I can't take care of a lot of things. 
but I have decided that I'm going to take care of these two cardboard boxes. I'm going to keep them in exquisite shape. I still have them, and I have them in protective cases now, and they are worth like $400 a piece. It's really cool. And they're just good games, too, you know? I'll never sell my shit, but damn, I could buy so many CS cases. Now we're gonna talk about the Rad, the Radstads case situation in CS. Okay, so our joke for a long time is that Radstads cannot fucking pull a good case in CS, okay? And if you're wondering what the fuck I'm saying, Counter-Strike is a shooter in the game. You can buy loot crates and you get skins for your guns. It's like TF2 hats, if you're familiar with that. They have such a strong community behind them that like some of the, some of the fucking things you can pull from those cases cost real world thousands of dollars. You know, Mo and I and Longy and Dens and all the other members of the Grumble, Grundle Bunch have in the past from like 25 bucks in, we've pulled like a $75 gun or like a $80 gun, right? All of us have had like a hit that was like, oh wow, we made a, a, a decent amount more money than like we put in. Rads genuinely put about $250 into that game without ever playing it. All he did was crack cases. All he did, all he fucking did, crack cases, nothing else. And did not get anything worth more than, I'm not even kidding, like I think his most expensive thing was like $7. Which is like kind of like a statistical anomaly. Like at that point you shouldn't be getting something that's like a little bit more than that. It is literal gambling, it literally is, do not do it. But all of a sudden the other day, I calculated the odds. There is a 0.068% chance that he pulled this. He pulled two gold knives. Knives are the most most valuable thing you can get. Like they're one of like the most sought after items. One of them that he pulled was worth 250 bucks, right? So he basically made like all of his money back that he like had spent over the, so it's like, wow, that's pretty impressive. He pulls a second case, pulls a second legendary, which is like an anomaly first of all. And not only is it a second legendary, he pulls a knife that is worth 1500 real life dollars. Actually ridiculous. Like I, I couldn't believe that shit. Meritocracy is a myth. It, merit the meritocracy is dead. It's all about fucking gambling. It's all about fucking random chance. Quit working, gamble, gotcha. Yes. I think that's the, the moral of this story. Okay, you motherfuckers ever had figs before? Dude, I didn't realize that like figs were like awesome. Like I know fig newtons are a thing, which is kind of crazy that I know like a fig newton is, but I've never had like an actual fig. And my Iraqi in-laws had these in like a bowl at their house. And I was like, what the fuck are those? And my wife's like, I don't know. And I was like, can you grab me one? I want to try it. She grabs me one, it's a fig. Dude. This shit's crazy. It looks disgusting. The green screen kind of fucks it. It looks like it looks like a shriveled fucking like. Ugh. You eat this shit, dude. It literally tastes like a Nutrigrain bar or something. It's like a natural filled pastry. Mmm. Man discovers figs. I like it's good. Looks like he just ate a nutsack, dude. It's good. Crab sold out to Big Fig. I'm not being paid to promote figs. I just happened to have some over the weekend for the first time in that form, and I didn't realize like, oh shit, this shit is awesome actually. Do not show this guy bananas. What's a banana? <laughs> man discovers bananas for the first time. Holy fuck, man. This shit is wild. You like peel it and then there's just like nothing but like soft goodness on the inside. <laughs> Capri, how about you like fucking take a pair of shorts and eat it. All right, if I gotta reset this fucking game, you, you need something too. Hey man, what's up? What's up, Capri? How is it living in your high, in your, on your high horse? Watching poor little old me, poor little old Crub, the Midwestern guy, you know, that the West Coast elite flicks in the head, you know? Bam, bam, bam. How's it, how's it feel, man, sitting up there? I don't think I've ever sent a picture of my shit to like anyone but my wife after she asked. Because I was like, this is crazy, you wanna see it? And she's like, yes. And then she never asked again. She's like, that was horrible, never do that again. And I was like, okay. <laughs> I was like, you asked, and she's like, yeah, it was not, it was not what I was like, uh, signed up for. And I was like, okay, that's fine. I won't do it again. <laughs> and she's a nurse, but the fuck did you poop? Chat, there was an era where I was like definitely deprived of like fiber. I'm just gonna say that, right? And there was some wild things coming out without getting, you know, too deep into the, into the buck. You know what I mean? The Virgin Mary did not give us her only begotten son for this. What, for me to occasionally send a picture of my poop to my wife because she asked? Like, I, like, I think that I think that Jesus would like be a fan of that. Sharing the joys of his creation with one another? Like, I, when, when the creatures of God's creation uh, come together to sing in his glory, will poop not be a part of the choir? Yeah, actually. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm getting really good at Bob on Babblefield. Bab Daddy, this is the farthest we've made it. This is the farthest we've made it, which I think is impressive, right? Like, that's pretty cool, right? Are you guys proud of me? It's only been two hours. I mean, that, that's pretty, like, that's, I think that's pretty, uh, pretty, pretty good in that amount of time. Goodbye, Mario A7 with the seven stars. I miss you already. Why must the good die young? 
Huh. This dude took the penguin way down the slow way. Bro, I'm not speed running now that, that right now, Don. Alright, I'm not playing in your I'm not playing in your in, in, in maximum fun enhancement way. I'm playing in my little ignorant world of enjoying the game and the piece of art as it was meant to be enjoyed. I don't have to modify my experiences and enhance them, Don, in order for me to, to enjoy them, unlike you and your little peanut brain. It looks like he's yelling about something stupid. I'm watching the X-Files and he's muted. Dude, I'm so owned. I'm so, that is like the that is like the most maybe the most owned I've ever been. Genuinely, that's like top five Crumb is owned moments. Is 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 Don not hearing what I just said to him? That actually fucking sucks. That's fucking ass. Oh, well, that's the only way to watch a Crumb stream muted with the X Files in the background. I'm literally gonna die. I gotta run. I can't stay here though because I I take damage if I go in there. I can't, if I go into the fucking goo. Sent you that. Sent that memo. I think I got the gist. Thank you. Thank you. I needed that. Thank you for the thank you for the gist gesticulation. I don't know what that word means. Probably shouldn't be throwing it around. You're fine. It's not that big of a deal. You're just walking around, man. It's not that big of a deal. Get real. This is a, a pit. I'm dead. He's smothering today. He died. That's a horrible way for, like, your video game hero to die. Bro was, like, straight up dead dead. Like, watching him die brutally like that was kind of crazy. I'm kind of surprised that happened. Okay. Movements with your hands and arms intended to express something. Oh, okay. So, okay. So, that's good. Gesticulation is actually... That sounds like... Why does it sound like a fucking, like, pregnancy term? It sounds... It sounds like I'm pregnant. Like, I'm gesticulating my, uh, my baby. Because gestation is close. Okay. Uh, death... Right. Right. It still sounds... <laughs> I haven't even said hi to you, Biohazard. I have to. You can't first time chat after that. <laughs> you can't just first time chat after that, bro. That's fucking crazy. Like, you're not even following. I'm starting to realize like the whole streaming thing is like really disconnecting me from the real world sometimes. <laughs> I feel like I actually do have a pretty good pulse on like people. I do not have a pulse on like the, the way the world works. Like, <laughs> like technically. I kind of thought movies just like a guy was like, I want to make a movie. And then he wrote it, did all the animation, did the voices, uh, did everything. And then was like, okay, here's my movie. And I'm like, wow, that's awesome. That guy made that movie. <laughs> and like, I look, I realized like, as I got a little older, like, yes, there are teams of people that work on stuff and they have jobs. But like, when you see like the actual behind the scenes of like, you know, me fucking spending 10 hours helping Drumsy write a fucking YouTube video. I'm like, wow, writing for movies must be crazy. <laughs> I don't come from the entertainment industry. I'm like a Midwestern fucking boomer. Like I fucking, I come from fucking, uh, I come from the automotive industry. <laughs> Crumb Nepo baby. I'm literally not a Nepo baby. I was just, I'm just kind of a net. Like I, I don't really understand how the world around me works. <laughs> like, I was kind of a bubble boy growing up. Not for like sickness, but for like, you know, not getting shot because like, you know, I, I get it. My grandparents, you know, my mom gets shot and like my parents or grandparents are like, you're not gonna go outside. And I was like, okay. And I was like, I'm gonna play RuneScape for the next uh, 60 straight days. And they're like, okay. And so I have, you know, 60 hours of Rune, 60 days of RuneScape hours logged. And it's like, I, you know, I, that's, <laughs> This is where I'm at. I had a very insulated childhood due to the uh, protectionism that my grandparents uh, exercised, you know, raising me. The silence of the chat speaks volumes. Like, now I feel bad. <laughs> no, it's not supposed to be, it's not supposed to be depressing. No one moved, I'm sick, it's actually insane. <laughs> Every single chatter sitting at their computer, like looking at their phone on the stream, like, oof, man. <laughs> Have you ever trespassed on government property? I guess technically I trespassed on a state park, so like kind of. As a kid, my friends and I uh, snuck into a state park and we almost got caught by a ranger and our uh, our <laughs> our defense mechanism is we can't, we were like 12. and But we were like, we can't look threatening. Once again, we were 12, we went to a private Christian school. We were maybe the whitest group of, uh, of, of, of children they possibly could have run into. We need to look less intimidating. Everyone take your sweater off and wrap it around your waist. We're not doing anything mischievous. We're literally just walking the trails at night. And my buddy is like, my buddy who's a game dev now. It's very funny. It's uh, he's, he's like a professional game dev, very talented person. He's like, we need to tell them we're like on like some kind of spiritual retreat and they'll believe us, right? Like then they'll think like we're, we're, that, that we're very innocent. And I'm like, looking bad at the moment, I was like, yeah, he's right, he's right. And I was like, looking back, it's like, bro. <laughs> They would have been like, where are your parents? You guys need to leave. <laughs> we were not a threat. Why the fuck did we think we were a fucking threat, man? Like, I'm like, I'm like, I still have like baby fat in my face. Like, I... <laughs> Crumbly said, quick, boys, we gotta look like we're a frat. Wrap your hoodies around your waist. And that was our plan. And everyone did it. No one asked any questions. My, my buddy was just like, do it. And we're like, you know what? I think you got a point. <laughs> I think this guy knows who he's talking about. 
American bullying is so funny. You need to shut people in the lockers. Once you get here, it's called gay for being a colored shirt. Dude, bullying in America, they fucking kill kids. It's crazy. People just like assault, the boys just like assaulted each other. But it, was, it wasn't like targeted in our school, which made it like not good, but like at least it generally wasn't targeted. Like, like the nerdy kids specifically didn't get beat up. It's just like everyone kind of generally beat each other up. And like, it was very untargeted. <laughs> Like, it was just funny to, like, fucking twist someone's nipples, you know? But, like, it was never, like, targeted to that, like, one person, usually. Unless it was, like, one guy that hated another kid, which, which did happen sometimes. But it, just, it wasn't, like, oh, the jocks beat the nerds up. It was, like, royal. It was, like, a royal rumble. It was very strange. I told you guys about the, the Bible teacher showing us Obama dressed as a Nazi. Like, that's... I've told you guys that a few times. We had to go to two mandatory church sessions every week. It was called chapel. And we would like go to this church session, listen to some absolutely disconnected person from outside the school, like to get, tell us a fucking life lesson. Uh, they were relatively useless. No one paid attention. And we really goofed off a lot during them. We would, we would, <laughs> this sounds so much more fucked up than it. I mean, it was probably kind of fucked up, but like we everyone would get bored. And then we would just like all look at one person, grab them, hold them down, take their shoes, take their socks and take their belt, pass them down from the senior section all the way to the freshman section. And <laughs> they would just go to the next class, like barefoot, no belt, sometimes missing their like uniform shirt and only having their undershirt. <laughs> like it was fucked. Like, I'm, like, you know, it was fucking insane thinking back to it. Oh my like, God. And then she'd be like, where are your shoes? <laughs> Whoever was shoeless Joe that day would just be like, I don't know where my shoes are. <laughs> Fucking insane, dude. You ever play the game where you threw pencils at the ceiling? Yes, we did. We did try and stick pencils at the ceiling. We also, we also played a game called Secret Milk where the teachers thought it was funny. So like it was chill, but like we would, <laughs> we would take a milk for the lunchroom and we would open it and we would just leave it somewhere. We would like try, we would like hide it in like the teacher's room somewhere. <laughs> and obviously like see how long it would take them to, to I think the world record was two weeks. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that Secret Milk World Record was two weeks in the in the world history teacher's class. I don't even have any drama. I just... God damn it, dude. Yo, anybody here a bob Battlefield Enjoyer? How do you like that? I love King bob <laughs> Other Jess, hello. I shouldn't call you Other Jess. You're you are more than you're a, a bar. That, I just restarted. You are you're not you're not efficiency maxing your resets. <laughs> you're not evolve crop. <laughs> what are you saying? Like, like, as like a Pokemon, I wouldn't evolve? What do you mean by that? What are you saying? What is that fucking, what is the, what is the implication of that? Pokemon isn't real, dude, grow up. I I'm not the one fucking talking about it. What do you mean? This is the wrong place. I'm trying to go to the place where I jump to the Princess Beach. Beach. I'm starting to lose my voice. This is really bad, actually. You ever play Spore? You're still in that microbial soup, little <laughs> No, I'm not. I know I have 80% more uh, uh, Neanderthal DNA than the average person, but like, I am not like, I am not like a pre-evolved species of human. I have, I think I have made it past the fucking crustaceous period. Bro, is it Magikarp? I'm not a Magikarp. Okay, if I'm a Magikarp, that means I'm gonna get epic soon. It's bound to happen, right? Like I, if I am a Magikarp, that means I get epic soon, right? Like I, it definitely is gonna happen. I'm not gonna get stuck here. Like that's for sure. You're holding an Everstone? I'm not holding an Everstone. I'm not, fuck you. I'm not holding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not old Everstone. That's such a funny insult to say to someone. You know, you remind me a lot of, uh, you're a lot like a Magikarp with an Everstone, man. Like, <laughs> means nothing to the average person, but to the, uh, to the Pokemon nerd, that's an ultimate own, actually. You're level 100 Magikarp, level 99 spa Splash Magikarp. I'm, I'm smart. I'm smart. If we love the... <laughs> Just everything about this message. <laughs> if we lived in X-Men, you would be, you would be human. Like, why, what do you mean in X? Like, why are you wording it like that? Like, not the X-Men universe, not the Marvel universe, like, like not, nothing like that. <laughs> There are a lot of humans in the X-Men universe. The, 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 the fucking, the, the, the mutants are like not common, right? They're, they're like, it's not a common thing to be the mutant in the X-Men, right? Like it's uncommon. You be the goon in the Arkham Asylum that goes in the freaking bat. <laughs> I'm not a side character, I'm a main character. What are you doing, chatters? Sitting on your thrones of fucking ignorance in the chat room, th chucking, chucking stones from your glass houses. What am I doing? I'm projecting my, I'm projecting my, my, my being across the, across the world to you. Uh, and you're sitting there uh, typing, faceless, unappreciated, like an extra in a movie. I'm the main character. You are nothing but an, you are nothing but an extra. 
Oh, chat, sorry, I wanted to go later, but I feel like, I kind of feel like shit. <laughs> I keep laughing and like almost choking to death, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna dip. I'll be back on Wednesday for sure. Longer streams this week as long as I don't get sick again, fuck's sake. Even so, I'm fucking powering through, we're doing this shit anyway.